Hey everyone, so we've got another tutorial. I think this could be our third tutorial on this color grade and I'll be putting all the links down in the description for you guys to go give it a follow. So if we come down, you can see really strong orange and teal, very vibrant and bright and warm. So getting rid of those shadows, maybe bringing up the vibrance maybe and maybe a bit of clarity. So we're working with this one here and let's get into Lightroom. All right, so we'll start by dropping the contrast a lot or really flatten it out because we'll do some curves and it's just a pretty flat image anyhow. Uh, highlights can come up so we can just tell that by it's pretty bright image and we have much more detail in ours. So you bring up the highlights, you sort of lose a bit of that detail but we'll just bring it up about there definitely want to bring up the shadows a lot so you're going for a bright vibrant look getting rid of those shadows really helps with that and we are going to add in a lot of clarity so it's kind of hard to pick if an image has clarity but I describe it as a glassy look and just take some time take some time to know the difference between sharpening and clarity so it's vibrant looking very vibrant colors so brought up the vibrance a lot and since it's lacking so much contrast I uh, got to bring up the saturation in that quite a bit but we're going to add in a lot of contrast with the curves we'll do that now Okay, so curves done, uh, just a simple S curve, so a bit more tones in the mid tones and highlights, taking some out of those shadows, and it's just going to add a bit more vibrance to those colors since you're putting them in the highlights and mid tones. And for this one, just to fade to those blacks helps give, helps not give off the digital look to photos quite a bit. And then just a lot of flatness throughout it. As you can see, there's a lot of, a lot of flatness to those highlights. There's deta that detail and the highlights is sort of kept down. And we will move on to split toning. So we want to add in some purple and reddish tones. So let's start with the highlights. And then shadows. And it's just subtle, but I think that's all we need to do. And then we'll just get all our tones now with the HSL sliders. So let's start with an obvious one like yellow. We want it really warm. And we might just drop the saturation of those greens. But as you can see, we've still got some green back there. We've got really nice orange tones in there and yellow tones, but we also have green. So I'm gonna shift the greens this way towards more of a blue because shifting the yellows affects the greens a lot as well so you just have to dragging them in separate ways you can sort of get both the colors in there um, reds keep it a nice Orange. Oranges look about right. 
So we need more of a greenish, tealish look to our blues. That looks pretty good. Aquas. Just need to desaturate them. Really need to bring up the oranges. Take down. So quite often if you take down the yellows, since it's so close to the oranges, it makes the skin, skin tones pop a lot. These purples can come right down. Don't see any of them in there. Okay, so working with luminance now, we want to brighten some of those colors. So they look a little deep and we want the nice, bright, vibrant look. So it's quite important to move some of these. So aqua, we'll just shift it all the way up. Greens. Yellows can come up. And the oranges, so you do the opposite with the skin tones. You just get these real nice deep tanned colors. That looks pretty good. Chuck in a little bit of grain. Just a tiny bit. And one other, one other thing I've noticed in this image is moving the distortion. So if you just move the distortion a little, about 15 is about as far as you can move it without getting the image cropping in. And what it does is you just add in a little bit, you won't even notice the distortion, but it sort of makes the background and the entire image look that more grand when you have an environment, a photo of an environment. So yeah, if you want to see distortion on and off, it's pretty subtle, but it makes it feel a little, a little bigger and more grand. And like you're fitting more into the image I guess uh, sharpening don't you worry and I think our image has a little too much contrast so if you see in the darker areas it's just too dark and same with the highlights we need it a bit flatter and we shouldn't really be able to see all the detail there so if you look over there you can see the details kind of gone and flat so we're gonna make it a bit more flat take out the rest of those shadows Bring up the blacks. Um, and then we will fade the whites. And see how that flattens those brightest areas. Do it for the mid tones as well, maybe. Then I'll just come down. We'll come do some more blues. 
I definitely want to brighten the greens. Let's chuck up the luminance. We will brighten the skin tones a bit. Just reset them. And then the blues, they just, they need to be a bit more, you can see, see they're too dark, uh, deep. So, let's chuck up the luminance. And bring down the saturation a bit more. And then the aquas, uh, I think we're looking maybe a touch too green. Just go about in the middle there. Keep saturation there. And I want to bring it up even further but I think that'll do about there so I'm pretty happy with that guys remember it's a screenshot off Instagram so it's gonna look like it's gonna have a little less uh, contrast and less sharpening so it's pretty good pretty happy with that could maybe even take out a little more little more contrast But I'll just leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, who you want to see. Comment people that don't have too many followers over on Instagram. But have really great photos. I'll reach out to them. Ask them to send in a photo and do a tutorial on them. Check out the presets if you're liking these tutorials guys. It's all just one pack of all the best presets from these tutorials. That I like. What I've come up with over the years. So heaps of value there. Appreciate your feedback, catch you in the next one, cheers.